Izmir, still located between mountain ranges and the Gulf. Looking like California, not Turkey, with beautiful parks, architecture and kind people. But on the other hand, here you can find very intriguing neighborhoods, which we can even name slum, and I decided spontaneously to rip through them. One mosque is almost devastated and is deteriorated only. If you are new to the channel, my name is Timothy. I'm Nathan, currently an expert in Amsterdam, studying business administration. I'm working in a startup. Also, I'm keen on entrepreneurship and web free. Right now, strongly developing in product management. Usually, I'm hanging around Europe and Middle East with my girlfriend. Here, I share my thoughts and adventures. Let's start in late evening, Izmir. Hello, July the 3rd. I just arrived to Izmir from the northern part of this country. But I can say this city looks terrifying at the first glance, like a, one big suburbs, a lot of dust, a lot of rubbish, just terrible. Not optimistic about feather exploration, look at that. Welcome just a few hours later in Izmir, so I went out, I left my girlfriend in the hotel and I left uh, because I want to eat something. I've never been such terrified as I am right now while traveling. Like this experience is just like overwhelming. Nobody speaks English at all. And over 30 degrees in the air. So, so this is one of the local bar cafes which serve typical ready to eat dish. So. Uh, chicken and some vegetables and the bread of course for that <laughs> everything less than three euros let's make unpacking right now as always too much too much fat very greasy cheers The poverty uh, on the streets on the really I think immense scale so a lot of homeless people a lot of gypsies people begging here there is no lights and lights so there are some places where I am really aware of the ability of losing this stuff and my phone it's end for today tomorrow you will see more of Izmir with me bye Yesterday Izmir appeared as an absolutely disgusting city. Does it surprise us today? We will see. I started my travel through Turkey in Istanbul where was I think 25 degrees something like that and now we are in Izmir where today will be almost 40 degrees here are some palm trees a lot of palm trees the climate is totally different than the Istanbul ones walking through some neighborhoods in Izmir and I can say that it's getting warmer and warmer every quarter <sighs> and the air here is very very dry so no humidity <laughs> almost look at that so nice a lot of greenery Izmir seashore with this nice monument. I can say after this I think half hour walking through the city center that Izmir is quite a nice city so for me is a shifty perception.
there are mountains there also and this direction as well so Izmir is just surrounded by the mountain ranges and is not a small city over 3 million people live here this Mediterranean Sea looks like just amazing marvelous view turquoise water beautiful skyline and this old guy selling local snacks and that's how the remarkable memories are created what do you think? California, for sure, hills, only the Hollywood sign is missing on the hill. Amazing. I've never expected seeing something like that in Turkey. Later we are going deeper into Izmir neighborhoods to get even more local vibe. a cool block of flats on every floor there is a very ugly concrete sculpture Now it's time for bazaar. Last time I was at the bazaar a week ago in Istanbul. Different experience than the Istanbul ones. No pushy vendors. Less touristic, I think. Or local even in the direct vicinity of the bazaar bazaar behind me first mosque after the week of absence Entering the second floor. This might be illegal. Just look at that. These two ceiling and windows. I love this idea, but there are so much places for the street food. Totally different thing than in Istanbul because in Istanbul you can just buy souvenirs. Izmir Bazaar is one of my favorite. It's super local. You can find the stuff that locals buy. Not only the tourists like in Istanbul. I think it's super nice to get to know city, to get to know culture from this not touristic side. of masses for only 30 euros so I think it's better price than Istanbul. Yes? Yes. But we wash up one to me. Okay. Oh, thank you. Turkish are very kind. These invited me inside the kitchen to show the work they are proud of. Something like this, orange juice, 15 euros. This is silk part, and environment is normal wool, but mm -hmm. you feel the felt. Felt means, I repeat, uh, wool, include to uh, soap and water, and then we can say this is the first fabric of the world because. I'm trying to make uh, according to original uh, traditional way. Uh, I use uh, just olive oil soap. 
We were just hanging around and the great bazaar here. The guy called us to show us uh, his atelier and also he told us a whole story about the wool in this region around Izmir and just about life right now in Turkey. Uh, oh, it's, it's different problem for us. Uh, is it right? Yes. Is there a problem? Yes. Maybe I cannot say no, but uh, you heard something about this uh, problem. Uh, some people, uh, they are using uh, its name uh, to live from here. Mm -hmm. That was super interesting, I think. And I dropped you some chunks of the interview I recorded. We bought a ticket for 50 liras and now we are going to visit the ancient Angora. Now it is a huge heat wave, I think it's almost 40 degrees, so it will be hard because all space is open. In ancient times, Izmir was called Smyrna. Important figures like Alexander the Great were really interested in this region because it is a very fertile land and also with good geographical location that can be used for various purposes. about seeing some parts of the ruins through the fence but I can say that overall it was like brilliant experience interesting ruins with arches that are making kind of the ceiling so it's not the open space uh, with some columns it is more interesting and more complex building that typical ruins so sign of the quality let's go further to Izmir. After the ruins we thought okay we see the fortness on the hill why not climb close to it and that was a mistake because the path to this fortness led through the slum. The middle is Burn. One mosque is almost devastated and is deteriorated only. I think it will be really really hard to find some tourists who go here. right now not at the slums but look at that totally ruined neighborhood there are some mosques and people are living I think inside this mosque really really bizarre place I think with exactly zero tourists we passed all these weird neighborhoods slums and I think now we are approaching the fortness inside this Kadife Kale fortress. I expected, I don't know, the paid entrance, but everything here is free, I think. And some playgrounds. Not a touristic site. There on this hill you can see the gigantic Ataturk monument. This whole fortress hill is covered by some Mediterranean pines and spruces. Here you can see the Agora I've shown you. The distance for slums is not very long, uh, but it's so fucking scary to go through. 
We survived the worst neighborhoods. It wasn't that bad, fortunately. We are back at the main bazaar. Now we are waiting for our dishes from this local almost street food restaurant. Can I call it restaurant? I don't think so. Just street food bar. Some versions of kebab. I paid 55 dirhams for tabuk durum. Uh, for salad, there is a tabuk durum with, with rice and for some bread. The smell at the fish aisle is, that is just disgusting and I'm just wondering about the quality of the fish. I hope you liked this episode, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and comment this video. Below is the link to the whole Turkish series. Thank you for watching, see you in another episode.